Hey, what's going on, guys? We are back. And today we're going to touch on some of the new features in MPC 2.7. Primarily, we're talking about Ableton Live export today. So once you make a beat in MPC 2.7, if you want and if you have the DAW, you can export that beat into Ableton so that you can format the song or use your clips, however you want to do it. I find this particularly useful because while MPC 2 is a DAW now, it, it flows a little bit better to just format the song in Ableton. It gives me a little bit more creative freedom. So we'll show you how to get started with that. So if you remember a couple tutorials back, we had a dummy project and we just reloaded it up. So this is how the dummy project sounds. So yeah, nothing special. I mean, really just bare minimum stuff. You know, you have your drum tracks and then you have looks like some MIDI from Omnisphere. Uh, there might have been a piano at one point. Let's see how that sounds. And looks like there might have been another lead. We'll add that back. So yeah, it looks like we have four different tracks. So that's pretty much everything we have in this beat. Now, there are two different ways that you can take this uh, eight bar loop and export it to Ableton. Now, one way is to go up to file and go to export, and then you can export as an Ableton live set. Okay. Now, if you have your live or your X plugged in, then there's another way that you can do it. And I'll see if I can add that video for you from my live that's on my table. But essentially what you're going to do is you're going to go to the folder. The folder is going to be at the top of the screen. You're going to click it and you know, all the different settings are going to pop up, whether you can save, save as purge export. And at the far right, you're going to see Ableton live export and you can click that button, right? So then you're going to have a couple different options pop up. Now it's going to ask you, do you want to export your MIDI as audio or do you want to export your MIDI as MIDI? So the only difference would be as audio, everything would be in waveform and you wouldn't be able to like load in an instrument to just play the notes that would be there unless it's MIDI, if that makes sense. So we're going to choose to export everything as audio. And just for the sake of this tutorial, we'll include the program volume and pan settings. That way, when things go into Ableton, if you had something panned hard to the right or if you had it panned hard to the left, it's there. It's not going to get moved. The program isn't going to use the defaults to uh, just set up everything. All right. So we're going to keep the bit depth at 24. We're not going to bypass any of the program effects so that we can keep everything sounding the same. And uh, of course, the sample rate will stay at 44.1K, so it's pristine. And then from there, we're going to click export. Now, at this part, uh, I'm going to let the screen go black for a second just so I can export the program and not show all the files that I just have lingering on my computer. So hold tight for one second. But all you have to do is click export and choose where you want to save it, whether it's your desktop, whether it's your documents folder. And from there, We'll show you what to do. All right. So we'll be right back. What's up, y'all? Just showing you that the track is almost finished exporting. They're writing the Ableton Live set. And we saved it to our desktop for the purposes of this tutorial. Okay. So from here, what we can do is we can actually go to Ableton, which I think we already have it up. All right. So there's nothing up there, just the vocal chain that was there from earlier. But Regardless of that fact, we're going to open up a new live set. So I'm going to open a live set. And as you can see, I was able to navigate to the folder that was on my desktop. Notice there are two different project files. One is for Ableton Live Lite and the other one is for Ableton, the full version. So we're going to click that. And that's just a miscellaneous project. So we'll close it. All right. And now notice that our MPC project is now loaded up. OK, so you have four clips here that are all deactivated. If you just press the uh, play button, they'll all be activated now. All right. And I'm 
probably just do that for now. Let's change the settings so you guys can hear them a little bit better. Okay. And let's unmute this. Okay. So notice you have all four of those channels right here playing in clip mode. But of course, if you know Ableton, then you know you can just drag this over to arrangement view. Get rid of this right here. So no longer are you playing clips. All right. All right. So now you have the actual audio loaded up that you can manipulate now. So you just drag these over one by one. And let's press play just for reference. All right, so everything seems to be there. So now you notice that you have your you have your whole project there. So you can kind of just work on things as you want to in Ableton. You can rename all of these tracks. So instead of this being what we called it in the program, we could just say, okay, this is drums now. All right, this might be strings. so on and so forth and you could do the same thing with the piano and the uh, other synth sound that you had down there but essentially that's how you do it so you essentially went from you went from MPC you went from having these four tracks and then again either on your live or from going to file you went you export it as an Ableton live set export it as audio or you can export as MIDI and just for just for the sake of it we'll export as MIDI right quick okay all right and the screen is gonna you know fade and fade out for a second as we export this so that I can you know protect the sanctity of my files and whatnot all right and we're back so like last time uh, I was able to navigate to that folder now this is the MIDI session we're gonna not save this. And everything that should pop up should be in MIDI now. So you see we got our four channels. All right, and notice instead of audio, now we have MIDI files that we can execute against. So you could take these same drums and instead of, instead of using these MIDI notes right here, which are just empty and not playing anything, if you look at the meter, you can now just add a drum track right so now you can add a drum track to that you can do the same thing with these other notes that are playing now you're not married to the same instruments that you had in the mpc earlier you just have the actual notes that you can manipulate so uh to recap two ways you can export from ableton live you can export as audio or midi and that's pretty much it you guys um with that said if you have any questions don't forget to hit us up at drummachineaddicts at gmail.com and don't forget to check the website uh, we should have it in the description we actually have an Ableton live template that we've developed in case you don't want to export and you want to just route NPC into Ableton live as a plugin uh, we have a template for sale uh, for meager price that'll help keep the page going or help keep our community going and uh, we'll have a link below so that you can check that out and the other stuff we have in our site if you should choose to patronize us or be patrons of us. With that said, we are out. If you have any questions, hit us up. Peace.